refrigerators. We can think of a refrigerator as a heat engine operating in a reverse direction. A heat engine takes heat from a hot place and gives off heat to a colder place. A heat engine has a net output of mechanical work, but the refrigerator requires a net input of mechanical work. Schematic representation of the principle of the common refrigeration cycle is shown here. The fluid circuit contains refrigerant fluid which is the working substance of a refrigerator. The cooling coils inside the refrigerator are at low temperature and low pressure. The condenser coils outside the refrigerators are at high temperature and high pressure. The compressor takes in fluid, compresses it adiabatically and delivers it to the condenser coil at high pressure. The fluid temperature is then higher than that of the air surrounding the condenser. So the refrigerant gives off heat and partially condenses to liquid. The fluid then expands adiabatically into the evaporator at a rate controlled by the valve. As the fluid expands, it cools considerably. The fluid in the evaporator coil is colder than its surroundings. That is, inside the refrigerator, it absorbs heat from its surroundings cooling them and partially vaporizing. The fluid then enters the compressor to begin another cycle. Thus, a refrigerant takes heat from a cold place that is, from the inside of the refrigerator and gives it off to a warmer place, usually the surrounding air in the room where the refrigerator is located. A flow diagram for a refrigerator is shown here. According to the first law of thermodynamics, for a cyclic process, QH plus QC minus W is equal to zero, where QH and QC represent the quantities of heat absorbed and rejected, or minus QH equals QC minus W, or because both QH and W are negative, Modulus of QH is equal to QC plus modulus of W. Thus, as the diagram shows, the heat leaving the working substance and given to the hot reservoir is always greater than the heat QC taken from the cold reservoir.